Welcome back to Human Resources for the People. It's a human capital revolution. Today we're going to be talking about a new law that's coming out of San Francisco. And this article is by Jocelyn Hoffman at Voris. And this new law requires employers to provide paid military leave. Um, and it's a municipal ordinance, which, you know, obviously it just affects the city of San Francisco. Um, but it takes effect February 19th. So it takes effect in uh, 12 days and requires employers to pay the difference between military pay and regular pay. As you may or may not know, military, uh, military members receive uh, pay for their leave. But in addition, some companies will make up the difference. And, and a great majority of, or a great many of companies do make up the difference between military leave and uh, the military pay uh, in, in their regular pay and, and military pay. So let's get right into it. So the law that begins today, February 19th, applies to all private employee employers with more than 100 employees, regardless of location. And the employee has to be within the geographic boundaries of the of San Francisco and be a member of the armed uh, services within the United States or National Guard. So it's important to understand that there is limits to this. All this law means is an active soldier within the U.S. Armed Forces and an active employee inside the geographical bounds of San Francisco are entitled to receiving the difference between their gross military pay and their gross civilian pay, and that the employer, not the city, is required to make up the difference. As a result of this new law, the government can bring charges and penalties and fines against the employer who is not participating in this. So, you know, I think the main question is, is this good? Is this important? And, and should we sort of embrace it? Now, first off, I will say that it's incredibly surprising to come out of San Francisco, both good and bad. I, you know, I, I obviously, San Francisco has a political leaning that tends not to favor the military. But on the flip side, it's not that surprising because San Francisco seems to vote, you know, vote other people's money out of other people's coffers, right? I mean, the government has no right to demand leave uh, from a private employer to make that private employer pay for someone else's leave. I think it is good. And of all the paid leaves that are required by the city and state, um, especially in California, this is probably the more most legitimate and most reasonable. But still, it, there's something that, you know, at some point they're going to start deciding that, the companies should pay for dog care leave, right? There's no limit uh, to the, the the requirements if a government can impose requirements like this. It's also another law that professionals in San Francisco have to uh, contend with and make sure that they're aware of. And that stack of laws in, in conjunction with state and federal laws becomes ever more growing such that I'm not sure that a regular small business can ever hope to comply. All that said, uh, you know, please let me know what you think below. Uh, it's an interesting topic. I'm interested in what people have to say about it. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.